Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called Everything's Gonna Be Alright Yoga. We will focus the class on tethering the mind to the heart center and quieting the mind and being heart centered. We are gonna do a mudra for this class that will allow us to develop self-confidence and to trust in higher power or inner power however you want to say it, and to release doubt, doubt self, doubt, and also negativity, hopelessness. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be heart-centered and prepare yourself to flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the crown of the head, let the feet drop down, feel all four corners of each foot, inhale your arms out and bring them over the heart. You can press the palms together and now cross your fingers, leaving the thumbs uncrossed and open the arms, press the elbows out bring the hands over the heart and you can bring the thumbs up towards the collarbones Vajra Pradama Mudra the unshakable trust seal or mudra and you're going to breathe into your heart and hold this mudra which as I mentioned tethers the mind to the heart so that we are in the heart heart center trusting trusting higher power trusting our inner strength and releasing self-doubt in times of hopelessness and worry this is a good class to come back to that everything is going to be all right everything's gonna be all right you can even put the, uh, that song in the background <laughs> open a separate window and just let the song play breathing into the heart Shifting the weight onto the right leg, we're going to press the left leg back, coming into warrior three, holding the mudra. We're being unconventional, so we'll use the mudra throughout different poses. As a reminder, as an anchor to the practice. Coming up, one-legged chair, level the hips, so if you're tilted, square them. Straighten the back. Warrior three. Level the hips. Chair. Warrior three. one-legged chair step it back in high lunge then we're going to lift the toes or the heel on the right side and lower one two three four five lower it down Let's lower the knee, left knee lowers down one, controlled, two, three, four, five, open the arms out, twist to the right, drop the right hand down the left leg, reach up.
inhale the hands over the head and step to the front <sighs> open the arms out bring your arms in prayer and cross the fingers open the thumbs up open the elbows out again breathing through the heart Shift the weight onto the left leg and let's go warrior three. Level the hips, press through the back heel. Stay very, very focused on your balancing moves. Chair, one legged chair that is. And again, see how your hips are tilting and try to square them. And quieting the mind. Focus on the balance, warrior three. One legged chair. Warrior three. One legged chair. Warrior three. And step it back. High lunge. Open the elbows out. Extend the tailbone down. Keep the hips square and even. Let's lift the heel. One, two, three, four. Engaging the calves. Five. Lower the knee. One. Two, three, four, five. Open the arms out. Twist to the left and reach up. Up with the right arm, down with the left hand. And release. Step to the front. Clasp your hands over the head. Lift the chin, open on one side, look up, smile, back to center, opposite side. Smile, back to center, straight back, forward fold slowly, feel the move in your muscles, in the connective tissue. Soften here, wiggle a little. Let the head hang and you can sway the body side to side. Like a willow. Trusting in the wind, trusting in nature. Inhale, look ahead of you, pull the belly in. Spread the fingers wide open. Step back, plank. Press the heels back. Pull the inner thighs in. And Chaturanga. Up dog. Lengthen the back of the neck. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up lift step it through come up high lunge hands in prayer twist press the back heel straight up so if it's twisting just lift it up spread open the chest drop the shoulders away from the ears create space in the chest and back Inhale, coming up, high lunge. I really, really love high lunge and although they teach beginners to do low lunge, I still prefer high lunge. It develops better strength and it keeps your knees safe. So it may look more difficult, but it is also a beginner lunge. Better for beginners, better for advanced students. 
exhale the hands over the heart cross woven fingers open press the elbows out and take three deep breaths through the heart <sighs> Step to the front, bring your knees into your hands, bring your fingers right hand either onto the knee or if you're a little more flexible onto the toes, the big toe and twist here, standing, look behind you, alternatively you're holding your knee and focusing again on the twist on your balance. And looking forward, you can grab your knee with both hands or the foot with both hands. Straighten the back, press that leg back. Great. Warrior three hands over the heart. You can extend the toes, flex the foot on the left side, extend, flex, extend, flex, extend, flex. Bend the right knee, step back in warrior one. Reach over the head, hands over the heart, woven fingers, press the elbows out. Breathe into the heart. Straightening the lead knee. Square the hips. Release the hands. Right hand onto the hip. Left hand down. Revolving triangle pose. And release it down. Intense side stretch. There is more appropriate names for this pose. Someone commented on the name. I don't find this to be the best name for the pose, but for now we'll use that name <laughs> because it's the official name. And plank. Pull the belly in. Feel your legs and core just powerful. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Mm. Exhaling. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, Worry, uh, high lunge, pressing the back heel away from you, hands in prayer, unshakable trust mudra, breathe into the heart, three big breaths, And release, hands in prayer, twist, open the heart. Inhale, coming out and step to the front. Grab your knee or your big toe, left hand to right knee or to right foot, big toe, 
yogic hold, yogic grip, look behind, open the chest, drop the shoulders down, and look ahead, let's grab the foot with both hands, straighten the back, press that leg back, and release, you can step it back in warrior one. Hands in prayer, one more time, Vajra Pradama Mudra, press the elbows out, we're basing this whole sequence around the mudra, so it is the Vajra Pradama Yoga or everything's gonna be alright yoga, because everything is going to work out at the end, even if we don't have the wisdom to see the entire the big picture the moment it will work out everything is happening for a reason and it is allowing us to grow reach over the head straighten the front leg prepare for revolving triangle pose lower the right hand down Bring the left arm up and adjust if you need to. And release down. Great, here we're gonna walk the hands between the legs to the center of the mat, feet parallel to each other, lower down forward fold. Hands on the floor, open the feet out and come up in plie. Let's twist to one side twist to the other side, back to center, hands over the heart, and you can rock, rock the pelvis like a boat in the ocean, it contains your energy, the pelvic floor, it is a powerful chakra seal in the human body, so feeling the support of the ocean, the energy of the ocean, which is life, trusting and moving, and let's open the arms out, and bring them over the heart, and one more time, Vajra Pradama Mudra. You can bring your hands onto the chest. I really like just a few inches over the heart because I feel the energy flowing stronger that way. Breathe through the heart. And let's lower down and come up one, two, three. Be very steady. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, hold, shift to the right, look up, shift to the left, 
look up back to center open the arms bring them over the heart you can you can place them on your chest big breath in <laughs> Straighten the legs, plank. And we're going to do a few wave-like moves here in plank, lifting and rounding the back, pulling the belly in and lifting. Feel your core. Release the legs down and lay back down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and give yourself a few rocks, rocking, massaging the back. Open the knees out and bend the legs at around 90 degree angle. And you can press your hands up in the air, pull the belly in as hard as you can and lower one foot down, toe dips the other. One, two, three, four, five, Six, let's check with the belly press. Press the skin and see, is everything connecting? It should be, all right. <sighs> Hands in prayer. Four more, one, two, three, four. Hands over the head. One, this is the hardest. Two, three, four and press the right leg up come up in into a crunch or form of a crunch extend the left leg down and bring it in one two three four five change one two three four Five. either continue with this or slow bicycles one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and Let's bring the feet parallel to each other, hip width apart, bridge pose, lifting the hips, bringing the chest to the chin, really lift, press your feet down, all four, all four, corner, all four corners of each foot down. Now you can grab your ankles and give me a little deeper of a curve. Maybe transition into wheel or stay in bridge. And lower down. Let's lift the legs up and either go for a partial plow something like this holding the hips in the hands and the body just a, just a little off the ground or complete plow softening the throat
appreciating the sweetness of the moment. Maybe even when you bring your tongue to the palate, feeling the sweetness of the moment. It's an ethereal sweetness, not an actual taste. thinking about just think of five things you're grateful about you're appreciative about and let's bring the hands on to the back straighten the legs shoulders stand And lower back down, ears, knees over the ears. Slowly rolling out. Take your time to roll out. Open the arms out, bend the knees, drop <clears throat> the knees over to the left and to the right. And back up. Let's extend the left leg down and right knee across keep the shoulders down release opposite side keep the left shoulder down as you bring the left knee to the right so it doesn't matter how far your knee will go as, well, as long as you're keeping the shoulder down and softening here, lengthening. Lengthen the sides of the body. Soften and release that hip. Let it go, allow it. Allow it to release. And coming back up, soles of the feet together. Press your hands over the heart, weaving the fingers, crossing, thumbs up, elbows out, three big breaths through the heart, everything's gonna be all right.
release the hands, press the hips up, hold here for a moment, you can press your elbows down. And release, straighten the legs, walk them over, both legs over to the right, both hands over to the right, forming a crescent. Keep your shoulders and hips both down, making a contact with the floor. This can address hip and shoulder and spinal imbalance, postural imbalance, where one hip is higher or forward or pulled back and same with the shoulders. You can hold this for longer, allow the muscles, the supporting tissues to release if you feel that you're very crooked in this pose. If you feel more pull on one side than the other, it's a good feedback pose. And opposite side. Forming a crescent, keep everything down. Breathe, you should feel really good along the obliques. And coming out of it, bend your knees, roll onto one side. And come up, press yourself up to sit it. Either sitting in a comfortable cross legged position, even lotus pose would work as a hip opener. Inhale the hands out, prayer. Cross, open, three big breaths through the heart. believing in yourself because even the ancient yogis recognize that mudras and mantras have a powerful effect on our psyche so bringing yourself back to a space where you can calm yourself down whenever you need to listen to good music say a few good mudras do good yoga class and everything is gonna be all right so now go listen to that song <laughs> and I'll see you with our next class. Thank you all for joining me today. Remember to flow with strength and ease through your day and make sure to comment, to be subscribed so that you're not missing the new challenges, classes, programs, etc. And to share the classes with your friends and acquaintances and family. And thank you all for all your support. Thank you for the energy that you exchange and bring into the community and I'm sending you my love. Namaste.